So, one finger inside this white rectangle, and then press two when you want it to drop. So move your finger, and then you'll see the claw machine move too. There we go. The claw machine is a fun, interactive demo that is meant to attract people to our booth, and at Maker Fair, it is basically doing exactly that. Our events team approached me maybe about a year ago, wanting to create some sort of demo, and so with that, we found an old claw machine on eBay. They shipped it to the office, and then I gutted all the electronics, and in 16 hours, I put the whole thing together. So we have two 8-bit microcontrollers that are running the show. The first one is the touchpad. It's uh, right on the bottom. That is uh, an ATtiny2. It has a peripheral on it called a uh, peripheral touch controller. That is communicating with the microcontroller down at the bottom. That one is running all of the motor control. And also, we have a secure element in it. This right here is an ECC-608A. It is a crypto authentication key that is made by Microchip. When I move my finger around here, like you guys saw earlier, you can see total functionality of the claw machine. But the second I remove this, you can see that there is no more functionality. But once the key is returned, it tells that microcontroller down there that you are an authorized user, and then you can go about playing your game. Ah! Hold on, close your eyes. A big part of my job in Microchip and a big part of why I did this claw machine was to sort of demystify electronics. I think a lot of us view this as like magic or something totally not approachable. And so I wanted to show people that you can take sort of simple components and combine them into something that is a fully functioning game. There we go. A lot of the projects that we make, we make a custom PCB, we make something look super clean, but in the early processes of design, it is breadboarding. It is a mess of wires, and I kind of wanted to keep that initial sort of 16 hour, we are going to make this now, uh, first prototype vibe with it. It makes my heart warm to be able to show that to kids and be like, the stuff that you were doing is stuff that we still do. One of my favorite things about Maker Faire in particular is the interaction that I'm having. Uh, so I'll have like 10 year olds come up to me and ask me about transistors and pulse width modulators and a whole bunch of things that I didn't know when I was 10. And all of those conversations are things that I hope that they are able to internalize and see that one, they can do it too. And two, like all of this is accessible. <laughs>